Hi, this is a recording made by Tom Kendrick and Jeremy Templeman. We're going to discuss with you today the Checkpoint Maestro solution and we're going to look at a number of different labs. We are going to try and show you how to perform some of the basic tasks in Maestro, including creating a security group, adding members to a security group, adding hotfixes, configuring interfaces, and also some performance testing. We've broken these videos down into individual tasks so hopefully you'll find them informative and helpful. So welcome to the first video. In this video we're going to create a security group and a Maestro security group is a group of physical appliances which perform a single logical task. So all of the interfaces, routing table uh, and appliances share that same information. So let's go ahead and start the lab. So here we have our lab environment which is made up of two orchestrators and a stack of five appliances. We're logging into our orchestrator number one. Uh, the first of a connected pair in our lab environment which you can see runs Gaia. What we're going to do is create a security group and a security group is a group of uh, interfaces, a group of appliances that perform a common function. So on the orchestrator we have this additional tab uh, for orchestrator on the left and if we click on it we can see our gateways that have been discovered in the system the model, the port which they connect to, the serial number and the site on which they exist. And we see the interfaces that we're able to share or use or apply to the security groups. So we have some dedicated to management, some dedicated to what we call uplink which is connecting to the rest of your network and we can see here we've got ports from Orchestrator 1, which uh, is shown as port 1, and ports from Orchestrator 2, which is shown as port 2. If we right-click in the center, we can create a new security group, and we can give it an IP address, and this is the IP address of the SMO, the single management object that represents the orchestrator within our smart console. We can configure, obviously, IP address, subnet mask, and default gateway. And at the same time, we can also specify uh, the details for the host name and also the uh, SIC secret key so we can establish trust to the manager. If we wanted to, we can also at this point select install as VSX mode. So now we've made the security group object, we're going to add in a dedicated interface for management. So this is how we can push policy to and receive logs from the security group and we can add in pairs of interfaces in this example uh, so from orchestrator 1 port 7 and port 8 and from orchestrator 2 port 7 and port 8 and they will be used later on when we configure the system to take some traffic we'll add for now just a single appliance into the security group we could add obviously more than one but for ease we'll just add a single device and what we can then do is when we press apply, this will now, within around six minutes, give us access to that security group using the 172.31.100.182 IP address. So the six minute timer will start about now and you'll join us again in a couple of minutes when we can access the system.